Ever get the feeling you've stumbled onto a Marvel mystery box? Uh-huh. Today, we're diving deep into one of those, the origin and future of Billy Kaplan, a.k.a. Wiccan. Oh, yeah. You see, it all starts with Scarlet Witch wanting a family. Totally relatable, right. But instead of a heartwarming story about adoption or, you know, magical pregnancies, we get something else entirely. Something born from chaos magic and tied to, well, fragments of a demon lord's soul. Uh-huh. Talk about high stakes from day one. It's not just any demon either. No. We're talking about Mephisto. Basically, the Marvel Universe's answer to, let's say, a certain fallen angel who loves apples. Oh, I get it. He's all about powerful, chaotic energy. And somehow those soul fragments infused with his essence got all mixed up in Scarlet Witch's magic when she was at her most vulnerable. Okay, see, that's what gets me. It's like this recipe for power, but with some seriously questionable ingredients. Mm -hmm. So how do Billy and his twin brother Tommy fit in all of this? They are the ingredients, in a manner of speaking. Scarlet Witch and Vision yearned for children, but their magic, intertwined with those soul fragments, led to the creation of Billy and Tommy. It's like cosmic irony, right? They get the family they crave, but it's tangled up in this web of dark magic they never even knew existed. And to make matters even more complicated, a demon named Master Pandemonium thought those soul fragments belonged to him. He snatches the twins, thinking he's rescuing pieces of himself. But Mephisto eventually reabsorbs them, wiping the twins from existence for a while anyway. Okay, so it's like a really intense game of hot potato with these poor kids. Yeah. But they don't stay gone, do they? Nope. They bounce back. See, even when Mephisto bites the dust for a bit, those soul fragments are resilient. They find their way back, but they're different now, changed by Scarlet Witch's magic. They reemerge, finding new homes in Billy and Tommy, who we eventually know as Wiccan and Speed. But here's the fascinating bit. Billy grows up with absolutely no clue about his chaotic family tree. He's just a regular kid, well, as normal as a gay teenager in New York City can be. This isn't some origin story where he's raised by monks or in a secret magical compound. He's just Billy. That's such a wild contrast, this ordinary life with extraordinary power hidden inside him. So when does everything change for him? When does Billy become Wiccan? It's when he crosses paths with Scarlet Witch, of all people. Imagine the family reunion, right? It's like a dormant volcano erupting. This surge of chaotic energy awakens within him. Suddenly, he's not just Billy anymore. He's a powerhouse. He can manipulate energy, similar to Scarlet Witch, but potentially even stronger. He can teleport, which, in the MCU, hello, instant travel, anyone. And he can heal, which has huge implications for, well, everyone. But the big one reality warping. We're talking about the ability to reshape the world with a thought. Okay, whoa. So not just moving things around, but fundamentally changing reality itself. Talk about pressure. Mm -hmm. And this is where things get even more interesting because we've seen a version of Billy in the MCU already, right? WandaVision gave us a glimpse of him. Right. But remember that gut-wrenching moment at the end of WandaVision, Billy's cries echoing through the multiverse. That's our clue that things aren't as simple as they seem. And that's why everyone's buzzing about the mysterious teen in Agatha all along. What if that's our guy, the true Billy Kaplan, the one with Mephisto's chaos magic coursing through his veins? Right. And if he is in the main MCU timeline with these incredible, potentially unstable powers, what does that mean? What role will he play? Is he going to be a hero, a villain, or something in between? That's what I want to know. Imagine a character who can literally rewrite reality. He's a walking paradox, a beacon of hope born from darkness, capable of both unimaginable good and terrifying destruction. The choices he makes will have massive ripple effects across the entire MCU. It's a lot of pressure, but that's also what makes him one of the most compelling figures in the Marvel Universe. So what do you think? What's more intriguing, the origin story of a kid born from chaos magic or the potential he holds to reshape the very fabric of the MCU? One thing's for sure with Wiccan, we're not just along for the ride. We're strapped in for a roller coaster.